Palesa traveling all over the world with LG. One day when I grow up, I want to be just like Palesa, just saying. Anyways, you can imagine what it would be like to shop until you drop with 100,000 Rand at Santon City Mall. Well, we're going to be getting or rather spilling the iced tea on that a little bit later on in the show and how you can stand a chance to win that fabulous prize. Now, speaking of fabulous, speaking of fashion, we have the one, the only Sarah Langer in studio today, and she is known as one of the most elegant fashion powerhouses in the country. She's here Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Listen, you are probably one of the people that I stalk on Instagram no all way. the time. But in a good way, not in a bad way. I you love are that. Fabulous. You're absolutely fabulous. Over 200,000 followers on the gram, and you are absolutely gorgeous. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I feel so privileged to be here today. Oh, it yeah, is among wonderful. so many beautiful people. Yeah. Thank you for having well, me. Well, we're very blessed to have you. So you are an influencer, you're a businesswoman, you're a model, you're Earthang. For anybody who has not yet come across the name that is Sarah Langa, how did all of this begin for you? Um, so it started off in my first year of varsity. Funny story. It was just a bunch of out of the day campus looks that I posted online. And, yeah. you know, my social media pages grew. Yeah. I grew a following. People loved my outfit of the days, which was ironic because I come from a fashion background. Wow. My, my mom um, was a dressmaker. My grandmother made wedding dresses for everyone in the community. So fashion is like the heart of my upbringing. Yeah. And it was just so great to have a platform where I could share it with people. And here I am today with over 200,000 followers. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> and we've basically managed to make the social media space uh, a marketing hub and um, share a bit of our lives to, with people. Um, and, you know, just it's, it's such a great feeling to know that people appreciate the, 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 the content that I put out there. Um, people appreciate my love for fashion. And that's what it is today. It's just me sharing my love for fashion. I love that all of this started with varsity, though. Yeah. Because a lot of people are talking about fame and fortune. Not a lot of people talking about education, which I know you're very passionate about. Yeah. Tell us more about that. I mean, um, education has been a part of my value system and my pillar, my, I mean, my, my pillars growing up. Um, my mom always used to say to me, if there's one thing that someone cannot take away from you, it's your yes. education. And Thanks, I'm very mom. fortunate <laughs> um, because I have a super curious mind. I'm always on Google researching new things. And, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to go to university. Yeah. And I made um, my university experience fun by adding that fashion element to it. I recently graduated, which is, like, amazing because it was a nine-year nine academic journey that's... Not even, it's not even come to its end yeah. yet, but um, yeah, it's, it, education has always been a part of my May life. May I ask what you graduated in? So I did my Bachelor of Arts in Marketing yeah. and Psychology. Okay, yeah. hello. Yeah. <laughs> psychology, lots and lots of reading. Congratulations, Thank well you. done. That is amazing. That's almost a whole career in itself, I huh? Know. Nine years. Yeah. You were you kind of work in a very competitive space. The world of social media, the world of being an influencer, a content creator is highly, highly highly competitive. How did you get, or rather, how do you remain relevant on a daily basis and make sure that your content is one that speaks to your audience and grabs their attention? I think that's one of the most difficult parts of the job, you know, yeah. making people constantly find interest in the content that you put out there. Um, I would say consistency has played a big role. I post pretty much every single day, giving people the full 360 of your life. That is what people want. Um, and it's, it's been quite challenging because we all get to a point where we're producing the same content. And I think the most important thing for me was being real. In the content that I create, it's pieces that I wear, products that I, I live and I, and I use myself. Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's, that's what has aided me to kind of grow um, an organic and genuine following through, yeah. throughout the, the years that I've been in the industry. And I think that's why you're probably one of the influencers that were included in this incredible campaign, which is the Shop Clover Manhattan style campaign, which yeah. is absolutely amazing. I'm so jealous <laughs> because you get the chance to win a 100,000 Rand shopping spree. What does Sarah Langer do with a 100,000 Rand shopping spree? What would you buy first? That's what I want to know. Wow, I'd be so confused, I but uh, okay. Firstly, I have a shopping list, yeah. okay? Of course, I'm like a fashion blogger, so I have to have a shopping <laughs> list. So definitely shoes. I love shoes. I'm like a shoe-obsessed guru. And I would spend pretty much 50,000 Rand on shoes alone. Oh, 
<laughs> went after my own heart. That's why I knew there was a reason why I loved you more than just stalking you on Instagram. <laughs> that is a great way to spend money. Yeah. What tips would you give to the five lucky people who are also going to stand a chance to walk away with 100,000 Rand? What tips would you give them to, where does one begin, begin first? I think shopping is such an overwhelming experience, especially when you have the access to buy a lot of things. So I think firstly, planning is so important, making sure that you're energized and you have all of the refreshment that you need. Yeah. So I would say maybe a Manhattan iced tea. Yeah. You know? Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I think also just going with a BFF, mm -hmm. you know, it, it makes the shopping experience oh, so yes. much more fun. Um, going with a friend that you know, you appreciate and value her input. Because yeah. sometimes sales assistants can be a bit deceiving and yeah. get us to buy things that we don't actually True need. True story. You'll, you'll so find you out need... when you get home yeah. that somebody done lied to you. <laughs> and it will be too late by then. Yeah. I think about 100,000 rand too late. <laughs> That's a very big price to pay. It is. But Sarah, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, of course, for sharing your tips and for being a part of this incredible campaign. And I know whoever gets to walk away with it is going to use those tips to yeah. the best of their abilities. They'll be so lucky. I'm oh, so jealous. I know. So am I. Well, you can win one of five shopping sprees worth 100,000 Rand. All you have to do is enter via the pack entry by using the USSD code STAR120 STAR. 440 star your unique code and hash. T's and C's can be found on www.shopmanhattanstyle.co.za and uh, you don't definitely want to miss out on this, comp this, this competition and this opportunity to shop till you drop. So get your favorite Manhattan iced tea and enter with the details that's on the pack and you can be one of five lucky winners of that 100,000 Rand grand prize to shop Manhattan style. So get entering. T's and C's can be found on www.shopmanhattanstyle.co.za Enjoy full fruit flavour in salon or green tea varieties of Manhattan iced tea. Made with love by Clover.